It's common to believe that if you live in an environment that experiences annual snowfall, your car will be perfectly fine with just all-wheel drive. The first thing we want you to gain from this video is this. All-wheel or four-wheel drive is not the end-all be-all. The best vehicles for the most slippery of surfaces have more than just their drivetrain in check. Here we are going to talk about the other important specifications and features that make a vehicle holistically prepared for these conditions. Let's discuss all-wheel drive versus four-wheel drive first. Long story short, they are the same thing. They both enable all four wheels of your vehicle to receive propulsion from the engine or motor, giving it the best chance of escaping unexpected situations in the terrain you are currently traversing. The difference in naming really comes down to how each manufacturer wants to market its vehicles. Four-wheel drive gives off the tough, serious off-roading vibe, while all-wheel drive tends to conjure images of more on-road focused vehicles with better performance in the handling department. In the past, four-wheel drive systems were strictly part-time, but over time the term four-wheel drive has expanded to include some full-time systems. All-wheel drive can be found on both rear-wheel drive and front-wheel drive vehicles. For example, all Mazda crossovers come standard with all-wheel drive, but their smaller models like the Mazda 3, the CX-30, CX-5, and CX-50 ride on a platform that is front-wheel drive oriented, while the three-row CX-90 and the upcoming CX-70 ride on a platform that is rear-wheel oriented. Some all-wheel drive systems like Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive or the one found in Toyota's hybrid max powertrain are full-time, meaning that both the front and rear axles are constantly being fed torque from the engine or motor, split 50-50 or otherwise. Other systems are part-time, keeping the front or rear axle at rest until a loss of traction is detected, bringing them the torque they need only when they need it. More advanced systems can do something called torque vectoring, found in Acura's super-handling all-wheel drive. These systems can sense which individual wheel currently needs the most traction, sending more torque to that side of the axle as needed. Four-wheel drive is typically denoted on vehicles with a certain level of off-road prowess. Four-wheel drive still sends power to all four wheels, but it creates a lock between the front and rear axles, keeping the axle speeds identical. This reduces wheel spin when traction is low, such as in gravel or deep snow, but prevents your vehicle from being able to corner as well as when it's in two-wheel drive. All-wheel drive does not have that issue. The more serious of an off-roader you find yourself in, the more you'll find features like electronic front or rear differentials that can take care of these things for you. Outside of four-wheel traction, your tire choice might actually be more important for keeping your vehicle planted and on course when the surface is slippery. Winter tires are aptly named for their ability to stick your car to the snow. The materials composing the tire and the tread pattern can tremendously affect the tire's resistance to sliding. Tires generally are the most important component of your vehicle, whether on dry or slippery pavement, so make sure you have winter tires you can swap into once the season changes, but make sure not to keep them on when things get dry again, as they do not handle the dry surfaces quite as well as a normal all-season or a road-going tire. Other than that, look for the things like adaptive headlights and heated windshields for better visibility when taking windy, wintry drives at night, and don't disregard crash test scores from the NHTSA and IIHS. These vehicles come with these features as standard or optional equipment and receive our stamp of approval. To learn more about the safest vehicles for a variety of conditions and needs, you can count on Kelly Blue Book.